What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel where we do shit Colts way. Uh, excited about these. I had a buddy, uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well, and I'll link it somewhere right up in here. Um, his name's Bliss John. He's uh, King Ranch 13. He sent me these um, as a gift, and I've uh, been excited to put them on ever since. They're the, uh, if you don't know, the, the mirror lights. You know, the mirror lights are clear, you know. I kind of got the blacked out theme. And these recon, these recon ones, open it up, stupid. They come smoke. So, they'll be black and it'll have the amber. This style has, it'll have the amber running lights there too. And then uh, turn signals, I believe, will be um, white. Uh, you can get them in all different colors. Uh, it says, Amber LED running lights, amber turn signals, and a white spotlight. And I don't have spotlights on the bottom. I got a peasant model truck, but it looks damn good. But anyway, we're kind of going to go over a little video right here today um, how to do this. I've heard it's a pain. Everything I've ever watched online is a pain. Uh, so we're going to get started. Um, try to step by step walk you through it. Now, what I, what I saw everybody online doing was... What I saw everybody online doing was getting a flathead screwdriver, finding a little groove in here and kind of twisting it. Well, come over here, babe. That don't work for me. So what I'm going to do is, you know, just push here, grab up under here if I can, and just pull out. Not like that. I just took this thing off a while ago, too. That didn't happen bloopers all right so oh judas all right don't scratch that because that's what happens sometimes i was being an idiot before this video i took this off just fine but when the camera's on you try to struggle and move fast and whatnot i should have took my time um now come over here to this other one let me show you hopefully i don't break this one because if i do i'm done with the video i'm just going to do it myself but what I did a while ago, this one's not broke. I haven't taken this one off yet, okay? So just, can you see that? What I was able to do, that's what it was. I did it from the, the, t the bottom last time. That's why it broke. What I did the first time I took it off on that side. See, a while ago, I was pulling from right here like an idiot. So just grab at the top right here. And just kind of, there you go, just pull. Pull. Just once you get it, just kind of get your hands back there farther and pull it out. Okay? You see? That's what happens when you try to video stuff and move fast and you make mistakes. So I was going to cut that out, but I'm going to let y'all see how stupid I am. So when you have it, push the mirror down and pull from the top. Don't push in and pull from the bottom because you'll crack it like me. So also when you take when you take it off, there's gonna be these plugs right here. Come here back. Remember what color goes where. This the one with the white tracer wire is on the left side on this side, okay? On the driver's side, I, I think it's actually flipped. And that needs to be on there because it's part of your defrost. So okay, so see on well. It's on the it's on the uh, left side on this one too, so it should be the same on both sides, but just be sure that the white wire with the white trace goes on the left side. Um, we'll pause it right there and I'll cry about this for a minute and we'll start the video again. All right, I've cooled off, I'm back at it. Push. All right, this, this mirror, this ain't that expensive. So part number's on the back. If you want any good parts, it's taskaparts.com. Type the part number and it's usually cheaper than you really get anywhere else. Um, this one, I am going to do the thing that I saw online because it, it actually does kind of work on the top mirror. So you're not going to be able to see it in this video, but I'll show you when it's done. Um, there's a little groove. So you'll push the top up and open it right here. And there's a little groove. And it, it's kind of a pain to get in, but once... You get in there and you just twist. You see how it popped? 
So you'll stick it in that groove and you'll twist it and it should pop it out. And you can kind of, well, I don't know if you can work around or not, but I got it popped at least right there. And I'll try to work the rest of the way uh, just by pulling. So that's out. See, so now let me show you what I'm talking about. This, this thing. So well, let me get some light on here. So right here, there was a little groove. There's a, see this groove right here where, where it's marked up. So you'll stick your screwdriver up through there and twist and it'll pop it. And it went in right here. You can see it scuffed it up a little bit, but that's all you do. So get your flathead, stick it in there. And when you get it in there, twist it and it'll pop it and you can undo it. Okay. Pro tip. Um, and then of course you just unplug these two wires. Remember which way they go. The, the white's on the left there too. So that can be chilled right down there. Uh, and I'm sure some, some of y'all are gonna have a lot more plugs than this. Like I said, I got a peasant model. All I have is power mirrors. I don't have blind spot or nothing like that. But uh, on to the next step. I can pretty much, I think it's a seven millimeter. So there's one. Yeah, seven millimeter. So take take all these out. So that one and that one's a one, two, three, four, five, seven millimeters. Um, and that's that next step right there. So let me figure out what to do next and we'll start back over in a minute. All right, so I'm assuming what you do next is there's th there's clips up here. There's one, two, three. This is gonna get your mirror cap off. And there's also, there's one more back there. I don't exactly know where it's at right now. I broke it when I was putting your, your mirror caps on the first time. So I didn't get back here with the, I got a video on that. You can go back and look, I'll link it somewhere. But, um, so you, you just get these clips right here and then this should pop out. I don't know, I don't want to break that other one. Well, it sounds like I broke. Okay, that ain't too bad. So here's the, did I break? No, I didn't break it. Here's the other clip on the back of the, the mirror. Um, that's still in there though, so I'm gonna leave it. So if you're planning on changing your mirror caps out, different color, chrome, painted, color match, whatever, I would go ahead and do it at the same time you're, you're changing this out. Um, that actually came off way easier than I see other people's. Um, on the back of this right here, so you'll, you'll pull this down right here and then you should just pull out. Well, I'll say that. This is about the time I break it. Okay, yep, just, so slide this, this gray clip down. Just kind of puts pressure on it and pull it out. So now it's time to replace that with the smoked, blacked out one. Um, all right, so the box is actually labeled L and R. Um, for all you idiots like me, that's left and right. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this in and before I get it like all put back together, I'm going to make sure it works. So it should, so there it is, orange right there, um, as it, it looks a lot cooler than the factory one too. Um, we put a blinker on or something. So there's, there's my blinker right there. It don't do it here, but it, it didn't from the factory either. It's just these two right here that way so people behind you can see the turn um and i i don't have spotlight so i doubt it's gonna it's not gonna come on and i don't have spotlights so whatever it said with the white i don't have that but it's just the exact same so here's just here's just my parking lights anyway that's it so now i know it works i'll go ahead and assemble everything back so 
this little clip right here, that's where the wire was sitting. So jam it in there like that. This is gonna go here. And then this cover is gonna go back on. So hopefully real easy. Like I said, I've never done this. It's already having issues. Uh, come on, Colt. That's there, that's there, that's there. That's gotta go inside there like that. This is the part I'm having a little issue with. What's it that clip back? I don't know. You just have to keep playing with it until you get it lined up where it's at. Let me see if putting the, uh, the screws back in there will help. I'm trying to hurry up as fast as I can for y'all because I know it's just not cool watching, but I'm trying to get it to where you know, a lot of people will just do it and don't show you exactly, exactly everything. So that sucked it in there like that. If I can get this bottom one right here to suck it in, it'd be awesome. No, so, something ain't wanting the job. So let me tinker with it a little bit more and we'll, there we go. Tighten it up. All right, so that was actually easy. It was just put the five bolts in. I put the other two or three in off camera. Um, everything's working good. Works perfect like it should. Go on now, son. This is daddy's area. I got audience, but I'm trying to do this in real time. But how awesome does that look? I mean, it looks well. I mean, got rid of the clear, kind of gives it a blacked out look. Looks really good. Now all you gotta do is just uh, put these other mirrors back on. And then this side's done. And I'm not gonna show you the other side because it's self-explanatory if you saw this side. So you just remember the one with the white stripe goes over on this far right side on this one. And then we're gonna see here, I don't wanna break this. We'll see. I'll put this old broke broke sucker on until actually I'm gonna put that on later because I gotta get the part number off that before I put it on. Let me make sure my power mirrors work real quick. This is good to do before you all right so mirrors working. So perfect, everything's good. So that's all there is to that guys it's, it's fairly simple don't be a you know what and try to rush you know on the bottom one push the bottom in and then pull from the top on this top one push the top right corner and get your screwdriver in that little thing i showed you and pop it and then work your way out literally this took me like if i wouldn't been filming like i could have done it in like seven eight minutes i'm not going to film the other side because it's just be redundant and repetitive and we don't care about that but uh once again um super simple if you got any questions just holler at me okay i'm gonna be uh fully transparent now this passenger side was actually a good bit harder than the driver's side i don't the driver's side just come off real perfect this one i had to work at it for like three or four minutes um also maybe the only thing i can think of maybe it's because i had this mirror extended but uh, i still think i've since pushed it in so i really don't know but i also noticed this side has wire for a puddle light and my driver's side i mean it it doesn't have that um so maybe there's a few extra clips or something because of that i don't really know but now it's got me wanting to find this part number online but for the driver's side and figure out a way to wire me up some puddle lights i guess when i open the door they'll come on so i'm gonna try to figure that out but um Anyway, this side was a little bit hard. The other side, I never took it off before and it just all of a sudden popped right off. This one I had to get um, flat head and kind of um, go around the edge right here and pop a little bit and then right here and 
down here i scuffed it up mirror up a little bit right there but this one just took a little bit longer um so if you watch the video and i was surprised how fast the other one come off because everybody was having problems and i'm like oh judas this is easy but um anyway this one was a little bit harder just being full being full disclosure um but it still is easy to do all right i got both sides put on i told y'all earlier that this side was quite a bit harder um this is just this is what it was it's got the blacked out look kind of goes with the whole scheme of my truck i mean got blacked i don't have any chrome besides right here and i'll, I'll plastic dip that or something but uh look if you got puddle lights if you don't have a peasant model or whatever this little light under here this this side was harder to get off so when i'm putting it back on um what what, what i had to do is you put the top you put the top in first and then you reach down here and pull down and then slide it there's a little notch right here so once you get the top in you'll come down here pull down and just pull it to you but it, you can't just slide it in it's got it's got to be pushed down and, and then pulled in um but that, that, that's all it is to it really wasn't bad like i said if, if you don't have the puddle lights it was super easy i don't know why this is on this side right here but it's not on any other that's super weird um to me but look i appreciate y'all watching uh god bless um i'll put uh a link to these in the description of the video uh, i want to say thank you again to bliss and outdoortrucks.com if you did anything head over there he'll hook you up um and if you see anything on my truck that you want to know about or um I, I i pretty much link everything i've got in the description of the video if you want anything it'll be my amazon link you can click on it like this little emblem or something uh but until next time appreciate y'all god bless